What's up guys? Welcome to Meatballs SOS. Today we're going to be building uh, a, uh, a gear tree. We're going to be building a gear tree. Okay, gear stand. Uh, let's say you have, um, you know, you have uh, somebody that's a uh, law enforcement, maybe you're an airsoft player, uh, maybe uh, you're in the service and you want a way to hang your, you know, your gear up and whatnot. Uh, these gear trees have been very, uh, you know, useful in that aspect. And I've, I've built several now um, and I like the way that they hold up. Um, I built one out of plastic, 4x4 four four and 2x4s. Um, it just, uh, it, it holds up. You know, you could spray paint them the whole nine yards. So today, we're going to be build. I'm going to show you guys how to build them. So what you're going to need first are four 2x4s, 18 inches long. Four 2x4s, 18 inches long. Then you're going to need to cut two 2x4 two pieces in the 24 inch lengths. Now I did everything with a full 12 foot board. Um, again, that's two 24 inch boards that are 2x4s. And then you're gonna need a 4x4 four four post cut in a four foot section, all right? And basically what you're gonna do is you're going to take your 18 inch piece 2x4 and you're just going to get yourself some deck screws. Make sure you're nice and flush with the bottom. Otherwise, your tree is going to rock. Okay? Your stand, what have you. You want to make sure you're nice and flush. All right? So let's get our screws. Let's get set up. Try to use at least a three inch screw or better. You can't go wrong with a three inch screw, all right? You want to make sure you use something strong and durable. I like to use deck screws, they're durable, they're coated, they're going to last a while. Um, these ones happen to be yellow. Uh, you could pilot drill your holes, whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Now, I don't really have everything that I would normally have, um, the proper bits, so don't knock me on it. But the bit they give you is a star drive. Um, these are coated. It's a T25 to be exact. All right. And it's really simple, guys. All you're going to want to do is screw at least four to five screws per per unit. And I might have gotten lucky here. Let me see. Sure did. Alright, so what we're going to want to do Alright, simplest way You're going to want to screw at least one in the middle Okay this way you can shift it and finagle it however you want. Don't laugh at my carpentry skills. Yeah, I could have used clamps. All 
All right, she's sitting nice and flush. Now, here's a trick. You want to make sure when you're doing this for the bottom pieces and when you're selecting your boards, you find the straightest boards possible. Try to find ones with not that many blemishes on the side. If you're going to use number two pine, which I don't recommend, but if you're going to use number two pine, um, you know, it's uh, it's going to have a lot of knots. It's the cheapest stuff. Um, the boards at the bottom, the 4x4 post, make sure your factory cut edge is sitting on your bottom. The piece on the top, you want to make sure that it is still sitting pretty, uh, nice and flush. Otherwise, like I said, it's going to rock on you. All right. Now all we're going to do is turn her over. For this part, guys, it doesn't need to be perfect, okay? It's just as long as your base is sitting flush, keep it from rocking. All right, there we go. Now I'm just doing one right now just to hold it in place. Just to show you guys really quick. Okay. Again, it's really important Try to find the straightest part possible and make your cuts as straight as possible. Think so? That, one. that was a good one, huh? Yeah. Wait, Dad, are you building a house in this storm? No, I'm not building a house. Oops. Grab the wrong two by four. I would make sure you're not in a hurry.
last but not least, Why we're doing the one screw in the middle. Let me just shift this over. It's a little windy. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Not getting into place with another two by four. Not a professional. These are really good screws, by the way. Really liking how they're working with me today. Awesome. Perfect. Alright. So guys, here it is. Here's the base. Alright. See how it looks? It's a simple design. Anybody could do it. Anybody could do it. Okay. Now, this is the trick. This is why you put the one in the middle. You ha now you got your pieces. Now you can hold it in place. Maneuver how you need to do it. And you're in good shape. Okay. Four to five, guys, is the key. I know it's overkill, but it's worth it. best way to do it guys. Now you can get fancy with these trees. You can spray paint them. You can hang some eye hooks off of them so you can screw in a little eye hook so you can hang let's say a gas mask. You can hang uh, you know face protection for airsoft what have you. might seem like it's overkill but you got to remember the weight that these things are going to be carrying um, it's going to be carrying a lot of weight you know when you have a plate carrier uh, let's say you got your uh, ballistic helmet bump helmet turtle shell whatever you, you guys are calling it nowadays um, it's uh, it's very important that you know you make sure you over engineer the shot of anything and everything that you do when it comes to holding up some serious weight. I got you. One that gave me some fits.
Beautiful. All right, guys. Now the base is done. The top part for the arms is really simple. Your 24-inch cut piece. All right. These things are quick and easy to build. You want to measure your eyeball just enough, okay, for your turtle shell to set on the top. So I recommend at least going down six inches. Go down at least six inches. Yep. By the length. Got an even ten and a half on both sides. Now you could go eight inches too from the top, no matter. I go six. If you guys are wondering, Meepa, how come you're not drilling straight in? I'm not drilling straight in because I like to angle my screws in the... If you go straight in, I know we're not holding a lot of weight, but we're holding some, some weight. I like to go on an angle more because it's more of a, a reinforced, if you will, uh, application. The weight is dispersed coming you know coming down but the screws going inward so there's less resistance if you're coming in straight it's all coming down eventually it's gonna weaken if you're coming in on an angle it's never gonna move believe me measuring twice cutting once is a real thing we're sitting nice and flush with the table. I know that because it's a straight edge. We said ten and a half is our lucky number.
guys. There you have it. Gear tree. Like I said, super quick and easy to make, affordable. By the time it's all done inside, you're probably for material and you could source material on your own. I did it for about 65 bucks. It really wasn't too bad. Uh, you could probably do it cheaper. I just like the more bougier stuff when it comes to building. So I buy the better grade screws, I buy the better grade wood. But uh, that is a gear stand, a gear tree. Um, and that's it. You can spray paint them. Like I said, you can hang some hooks on them. Whatever you want, the sky's the limit on these things. They'll hold tons of weight. You can put two vests, foot plates, the vest, or your helmet. You can hang, put your boots down at the bottom, organize everything however you want. Until next time, stay safe and thumbs up.